Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we made a very exciting trip to Ikea. I feel like it's been so long since we went there. Obviously it's not the kind of shop that you just pop to every week anyway so I probably haven't been this year actually saying that I already know I went this year like earlier this year but yeah it's been a really long time and I was really excited to go um I wasn't actually planning on going to Ikea anytime soon because I had heard that when it first opened there was like three hour four hour queues but I really don't know if that was just the media making up stuff to stop people going or something I don't really know because Everyone I know that's been to Ikea since it opened this week has just said that it's been fine and like pretty much empty. So our experience was great. We went to the Southampton Ikea. We have two. We're like in the middle of two. So there's Reading and there's Southampton. We decided to go to Southampton because it's a little bit bigger. Um, so yeah, our experience is fine. We got there when it opened. We were actually quite early um, and went for a walk. And when we got back, there was a bit of a queue. So we queued up for 15 minutes. Um, uh, so literally like we were in there by quarter past 10. Um, I'm not sure how many people they were letting in, but basically once we were in the store, it just felt like we were the only people in there. It was actually better and nicer and less stressful than a normal Ikea shopping trip. Um, normally my husband gets really stressed. He hates people that dawdle and walk really slow. Um, so yeah, normally he gets really annoyed with people, but it wasn't really like that at all. There was a couple of people that were kind of doing that. But that's fair enough, you know, we haven't been in shops for ages and in Ikea obviously you've got all the rooms to look at and everything, but we were kind of going there with a bit of a purpose. We knew what we needed and we obviously came out with 15 million items more than we needed. So the first two things we purchased I'm not going to show you because they're furniture items and they're a little bit too big to show but we got the Hems three drawer unit. So we actually have the big one at the moment. I think it's got how many drawers? One, two, three, four, five, six six drawers in at the moment um, in our bedroom and then we have an ottoman next to it but basically the ottomans just gets full of crap and then all the clothes and piles of stuff just get put on top of it because we just don't have enough storage. So we decided to get another chest of drawers to go alongside, exactly the same, um, and hopefully it will just make it all a little bit neater. So we've got that. And we also bought two shelves. I'm not sure what they're called, so I will pop the name of the shelves below and a picture of them because obviously I haven't put them on the wall yet. And they are going in the baby room as well. So onto the items that I can show you. We picked up this cushion with a purpose. So this is for the baby's room because we've just bought a rocking chair from Wayfair, which I love. I can't wait to show you around the nursery when it's finished and show you all the pieces that I've picked up. But um, it doesn't really have like high arms and I thought we're gonna get really achy arms if we're feeding the baby in that chair. So you kind of needed like a cushion and I wanted something just like this, like quite a long cushion, quite a squidgy one. One you can kind of put under your arm and have the baby resting on. And it's green, which is the color theme for the baby's room. This is called, so you have to buy the filling and the cover separately and the cushion is called Sanella. Um, and yeah, it was just really inexpensive as well. Um, so, you know, it's the kind of cushion that it doesn't matter if it gets milk spilt on it or anything like that. And yeah, I just thought it was nice and cosy. Like I said, we went to get a few light shades. So we've lived in our house for over two years now and we still don't have light shades on all of the lights in the house. We're getting there slowly. Um, and so we thought we'd pick up a couple of light shades for our upstairs landing. So we went for these ones which are called Clovan. So we got two of them and they basically look like, they look like a jar with a hole in. So they look like an upside down jar. Um, you have the hole there. You could get like obviously their cords and their bulbs to go inside but we're just going to stick with the normal bulbs that we've got and the stuff we've got. See what it looks like. If they don't really go then we will go and get the funky Ikea bulbs to go inside. Um, but I don't know if you can see in the reflection of my mirror there, I've got two glass. They're like bigger versions of this, like round ones. Um, we've got them in our living room and I really, really like them. So yeah, we went for glass again because I just think they look nice. I also picked up a fake plant because I feel like you can't go to Ikea without picking up some sort of greenery, whether it's a real plant or a fake one. I was watching Lucy Jessica Carter's Ikea haul yesterday actually, and she is trying to move into buying real plants, which I love. 
and I'm like the opposite. I'm trying to get into buying fake plants because I just can't keep real ones alive. Especially now we're having another baby. I feel like that's just way too pre much pressure to put on a girl. So anyway, I picked up this fake plant. I've been calling it a money plant all day, but I'm actually not sure if it is. I feel like a money plant's like a lot smaller leaves. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think it is. Basically, you buy the um, plants separately in like this, and then you can go around and pick whichever pot you think would go. And I'm just really into my rattan stuff at the moment. I feel like everybody is. Um, so this pot is called the Cafabona, and I'm not sure what the plant was called. Um, it didn't seem to have a label on it. But yeah, I have no idea where it's gonna go. I might put it in the baby room, I'm not sure, but I really like it. Another impulse buy that we just saw on display with cookies in and thought actually we could do is something like that is this big jar. I'm gonna call this a biscuit tin or a biscuit jar. Um, because that's what we're going to use it for but you could obviously use it for anything like dried foods or you could use it for sweets and things like that um, but yeah we're going to use it for biscuits because at the moment our biscuits are in a little plastic Tupperware skanky box basically and I thought it would be nicer to have them in a proper jar um, so you get the jar and then you have to buy the lid separately which I find a little bit annoying um, because I'm guessing if you're going to buy a jar you need a lid for it so it's a bit weird that you have to buy it separately but you do um, so the jar is called Ikea 365 and the lid is called Ikea 365 as well so if you didn't know already my son Harry is six um, and he doesn't really eat a lot so although I feel like a lot of six to seven year olds will be moving up to using like ceramic adult plates and stuff he is still using like baby plates basically and ours are from Ikea but they are so old and we seem to have lost loads as well so we picked up a few plastic plates so we went for these ones which we've had before these seem like a better version though oh I'm not sure ours are like a little bit see-through and these are more like matte um, but yeah, you get six in there, they're called Callas, and they're just really handy for when you have guests or like, you know, children guests. <laughs> um, and just, this is the kind of size plate Harry would have his dinner on. And then we also picked up these two sectioned off plates as well. And then I keep thinking as well, we are having another baby who's gonna need all these things as well. So it's not really a waste of purchase. Um, Harry's quite funny with food. So sometimes having a sectioned off plate is a bit easier than, just putting it all on one plate and having an argument. Um, I know that some people love and some people hate them, but yeah, I thought they were really cute. They seem like a really nice sort of design. Oh, and these were called, yeah, these were called Kalas and these are called Heroisk, H-E-R-O-I-S-K. And then we also picked up the matching cups. Again, these are really good for when we have guests. I don't mind Harry using a glass cup, but if he's gonna help himself to a drink, he'll normally pick up a plastic one. And then obviously if we have guests, little people <laughs> then they can have one in here as well i've got a few really boring kitchen items to show you but i know that you guys wanted a haul so i'm gonna show you everything we bought anyway we i don't know about anyone else but we are always losing scissors um i seem to buy like 20 pairs a year and they just all go missing so we bought a two pack of scissors um we're gonna use these for food though so like when you have like chicken or like meat packages and stuff like that you want to open. We're gonna try and keep these just for food items. We also got this, which I know looks like a lightsaber, but unfortunately it isn't. It's a knife sharpener. We basically bought these quite expensive knives with um, wedding vouchers from John Lewis. They are really good when we first got them. They're like copper with black handles, really sharp. And then obviously if you don't sharpen them, they're just rubbish. So we keep thinking, we need new knives, we need new knives when actually we could probably just sharpen them. So this was £10 or £9.50. It's called Flas, Flaxa. Um, yeah, I've no idea how you sharpen a knife with it, but I'm gonna leave that to my husband. Other boring kitchen items were things like this. <laughs> if you've not heard of these before, I don't know where you've been. I always remember when I introduced my friend Hannah Michalak to these bag ties um, and she was like, oh my gosh, you've literally changed my life. Um, these are just really good for obviously taking out in a changing bag to um, like um, seal off a half eaten bag of crisps or you take them on a picnic to seal stuff we use them at home as well obviously if you've got a big bag of peas which isn't resealable you could use one of these clips on there um yeah i'm not going to go on about them too much but um these are a lifesaver also got a sieve 
and I also got a measuring jug um, I've been meaning to get a plastic measuring jug for absolutely ages I have a nice glass one that I like using but I mainly use a plastic one just for ease um, but yeah they go a bit stained after a while don't they and I kept using our measuring jug thinking this is a bit gross now had it for like seven years so yeah we've upgraded to a nice new one and then I also picked up this photo frame um I've got tons of photo frames in my house that still need filling but my sister made me or she had made a really nice print for me by our front door and I was really silly and knocked it off with my shoulder and it broke so um yeah I finally got a frame to put the picture in that I broke now there was two other items that we have got from Ikea but we didn't buy today. We actually ordered them online before we knew that Ikea was opening. We actually paid, I think it was £39 delivery which sometimes I'm a bit like, <gasps> even though I know they used to charge like 100 But to be fair we needed the delivery because we bought a Pax wardrobe um, and they're so long I don't even think it would have fit in the car. So we basically got a Pax wardrobe, so it's one that you design yourself. At the moment I don't think you can design them in store, um, it seemed to be all shut off. Um, but you can do it online still, which is what we did. So you can like literally choose the shell, the shelving bits inside, where the rail goes, any accessories that you want inside. You can choose mirrors on the front or no mirrors. You can even choose your door handles and everything. Um, and we needed one for the new baby's room. So we've got that on order. And we also ordered, um, it's quite a popular one for beauty bloggers, the Alex 9 drawer unit. So it's basically for, you can use it for anything. I think it was originally made for offices but it's actually really good storage for makeup items and that's what I'm going to use it for because the baby's room used to be where I'd store all of my press samples or all of the makeup that I don't use every single day or skincare and stuff like that so I'm going to use it for that instead and it's going to go in Scott's office if we can find some space for it. So that is everything that we got in Ikea. I hope that you enjoyed this video guys. I hope that it's made you feel a bit more confident perhaps about visiting the store because we had a really good experience so I hope that it's the same everywhere else I must mention as well they did have um hand sanitizer literally everywhere so it was like a touch free one the toilets were also open uh, which was great it's the first public toilet I've used since this whole thing um but one thing about their hand sanitizer is it absolutely stinks it smells like Bacardi and it every time we kept using it me and Scott were like it just reminds us of like the worst hangover ever. So if you're quite offended by smells, maybe take your own sanitizer. Because we had to keep using my sanitizer on top of it. Um, so yeah, I'm surprised my hands aren't like sandpaper. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on guys and I will see you in my next video.